Looks like a universe today. We have a big set for Nexo Knights, Gift for Evil Mobile. Series 2 of Nexo Knights is coming out with new sets and vehicles. Head over to Argos to see to take a look at those, but they are not out in the store yet. It's just one month you have to wait till they'll be out. But anyway, let's just get a quick another look at the series one. Because everybody will want a big set of series one next and next. So let's just get into the figures. Okay, here is Lance McFlynn. Ooh, and incended his pants. Here is Lance Richman. Put it down. He has one of the, he's one of the brave Nexo Knights who fights off Jester and his evil monsters with his Nexo shield. You get two more of these. He's, the one I've got on right now is cloning. You get two more of these. You get Mightiness and Sea Dragon. And you can interact with these in the free Nexo Knights app. They give you extra power. You open up his visor and see what he looks like. And what he does have is a double-sided face. On the other side, he's winking. We got one of these in Murloc's library, but instead he had a jetpack. And I got one of these in a magazine, but he didn't have the armour. And he has hair instead. But let's look underneath his armour. I'll show you it in a second. I'll show you it in a second. It feels... It feels really greasy my hands because I've been eating. I've been eating stuff so my hands are really greasy. So you might want to do that in a second. Okay. So, sorry, we just had to do a quick pause there because I needed to wash my hands because we're having difficulty getting Lance Richmond's heads off to get his armor. But anyway, here is his armor. Which has a hole in it so it, he can fit his head in there. And that hole is for his symbol which is mounted on his body. And he has all sorts of glowing stuff on his armour. Glowing lights and metal. It's expensive armour. And he has the same thing on his other side. It means he's next to charge. And that's the back. Okay. Let's put them back together again so I can give you another full look at him. So that's the last look at Lance Whitman. So that's your last look at Rance Richmond. Then we are going to move on to his vehicle, the Hover Horse. He has movable ears, which are clips, movable steering sticks, so a movable jet, which can move. And the movable head. I got I have I had one of these in the magazines that I got and from the Beastmasters Chaos Chariot set. So this is one and Shield Cliff on the side. So that's, it. so that's what he looks like, Lance looks like with his have a horse on, and that's the other side with the shield. So that's the cloning power that he gets. I'm guessing in the game we'll make clones of him, maybe, I don't know. We didn't do the same thing with one of the others. So that's his hover horse. 
And now let's move on to Jestro and his Book of Monsters. The Book of Monsters is included as a figure, because if you look, because if the camera focuses, he has a face. And inside, the terrible monster Burnsy, and we get that in one of the Series 2 sets. And I think it's something to do with that girl. Okay. I'm not going to tell you. And here is Jestro. Okay. He's got his monster staff that he uses to summon out monsters. In the series, it had three spikes around it, but on this one, it only has two, like a jester's hat. And it's it's red and black. The red and black sides are supposed to represent his hat, but it's purple when they give it purple instead. Speaking of hat, on the other side, it's a very... Very, Sad. very, very unconscious face. And that's his other face, which you may have seen already. And that's at the back. And that's his necklace of skulls continuing on the back. Yep. And he can... And he can hold the Book of Monsters. I just copied it like he was on the book. Like he, like he was on the box. Speaking of box, where is it? To show you. I forgot to show you the box for the evil mobile. So, yeah, that's kind of a fail, but that's what it is. And then we have a scene where the evil, where Sparks is tossing the lances half a horse and just where he's just like, hey, mom, let's just watch it. Let's get it. Let's just get on to the evil mobile. So at the front there is a, a big monster who is also listed as a minifigure. His name is a uh, Broken it. Don't worry. And he has lost his finger. <laughs> That's why. They really should have used a different thing for these fingers. It does look cooler, but it is easy to get them out. You can move his his fingers, his arms. Yeah, you can move his bat wings, which he cannot fly. He cannot use them. And he has a... Oh. Why are these things? This is the annoying thing. He has fire in his hand. Yeah, the other nice thing was that he keeps on, this claw keeps on falling out. And that is all one piece except for these. You have to stick those on. And his head is just an eyeball. Ah! He looks very surprised. And, that, and that's all the movability. He can also move his legs. These pieces are where the chains connect to the evil mobile. And down here, we, excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me, this is, what is, and anyway, what is this, a book cam? Can we please cut this out? <laughs> oh boy. That's supposed to be where something connects. Okay, enough of a book cam. Right. Okay. And that connects to here at the front. Yeah, we got that. It just slots in like that. Just slots in like that. And if you really want to, I recommend doing this, putting the chains on. What was that? A shield. No, a flag. That's how it looks. It will, sorry, I can't show you a good demonstration of it because my table, because it's not really going to work that good on my table. Let's connect Sparks off and let him roam free. Now I have to travel Sparks. But here we have Jesser's Evil Mobile. And what is cool about this thing, when you move the wheel, blades of fire spin inside it. 
like it's actually so it's like creating a could be could be actually a monster could be a spawner from minecraft a, mon, a fire monster spawner from minecraft <laughs> but it's not even from minecraft this is not a monster spawner but anyway that's supposed to be like training up fire or something like that something along hmm. those lines so he's chomping as he goes along he's like jumping or something like that if anyone gets in his way he's like that okay and that's the sound it makes so now up to the top deck we now have a very dangerous cross It'd be really good if you got a trapdoor for here. If you the ladder went down or something, there could be. You could have actually put fire down there, and then they could have put a trapdoor, and then that could have, and then the chest, and then you could actually have lands falling into the blades. But I don't think it works because the blades are too high up. Okay. But here's the ladder <laughs> that you are crossing. You can open it up. And down and up. It's only clipped onto those two pieces. And then there's a treasure chest. You are really supposed to put two gold coins in, but instead I have three. Instead of a couple, there's more, so a little more greedy people. And then, that looks like half Godzilla, half Flamer from, a, another, set, from another set, which includes General Magma. And on to the and on to another feature which you get here. You have a fire. You have a lava ball. This is what a lava ball is supposed to be. They should have also used it for the Beastmaster's Chaos Chariot set, but they didn't. If you have reviewed that set before, you might want to check out that video. But they should have used this because it had globlins in it. But because it's, because it really goes all over the place once you fire the golden. So they should have used that for the Beastmaster's Chaos Chariot as well. It's got one on each side. Yeah, it has got two catapults. You've got a black one here, which is the opposite colour of red, which I think is a better angle. You can also make this, map, this place go up. Yeah. Okay, be careful chomping it because it will fall off. It's no gesture. And here is the top bit, which I really, really love. That's where you can uh, just like stand and wield the book of monsters. But also, let's move gesture out of the way. This comes with the throne. I love this front. But the front, but this is my front. The throne that I really, really, really love. This is really good. They should make more of these type type thrones. It's like really cool and everything like that. It's the cool. It's okay. like shows all sorts of thrones and stuff like that with the emblem on. I think they should make them more thrones like this. And also, they have a special little gap where his cape can go through. They didn't just make slam some pieces together they actually just use the seat and put some pieces around it but then at the back take this here Ooh, look at that a lever and that goes down so we can hide from fire from opening fire and then he can fire his magic from inside there to his little hole. So it's like, so he's in. So Jestro's heart, like, is half Bilbo, half Jestro, half himself. Because <laughs> Bilbo lives in a hole. If you haven't seen the Hobbit. Or something like that. But then here we go to the dungeon. To the dungeon. You are, this doesn't, you said. You may think it isn't even a dungeon at all, but well, it is. Because the door opens up. Let's put Lance in there. Prisoner of the day, Lance. You have an extra skull. You get an extra skull in here. For somebody who got caught in there, who wasn't quite as lucky. 
and the fire consumed his skeleton body and only his head was left. And let's see how Lance feels when he feels the heat. Right, let's try. Aww. Oh no, I got just felt burnt. Ooh, I've got some burn though, and it felt feels quite hot. Now worry Lance, I'm gonna lock you up. Wait, what no, no, no And now Lance is locked up and is ready to be the prisoner of the day. And then we can put sparks back on here. And tow him to the lava and tow him to the lava lands to the volcanic base. Let's go. Yeah. And also what's a little cheat? If you can't roll it, no worries. There are some little wheels on the bottom anyway. So you can roll it a bit more. What happened there? I think his I think his head keeps on falling off. Be careful. I'll get you. Head. Anyway, now we're back. I like this set particularly because of getting a big fig and it looks so big as well. And partly because of the throne and the hover horse and lance. I just really love this for all, for all the stuff you get in it. I just thought this was really cool. So, and we'll be doing a video of the new entertainer giveaway C3PO. So check out that video which I'll be releasing today. But that's all for now. So bye!